Welcome to a lesson on the mean value theorem for integrals. The mean value theorem for integrals states that if f of x is continuous on the closed interval from a to b, then there is a number c, which is an x value, in the closed interval from a to b, such that the integral of f of x from a to b equals f of c times the quantity b minus a. So the value of this def integral is equal to some function value over the interval from a to b times the quantity b minus a, which should be the width of the interval. To better understand this, let's think of this in terms of area, and we'll assume f of x is non-negative over the closed interval. So we know if f of x is non-negative over the closed interval from a to b, we know the value of this def integral would give us the area under the function over the interval. So let's assume this is the graph of f of x over the interval from a to b, or in this case, over the interval from one to seven. The value of the def integral would give us this area here, and the mean value theorem tells us the value of the def integral is equal to f of c, which would be the height of some rectangle, times the quantity b minus a, which would be the width of the interval, where the area of this rectangle, or this product, would be the same as the area under the function. So in this case, f of c would be five, which is also called the average value of the function over this interval, which we'll mention again later. And then the x values that give us this function value would be the value of c. And notice in this case, that occurs twice. Here, we'd have a value of c, which we'll call c sub one, as well as here, we'd have another value that would give us a function value of five, so we'd call this c sub two. Now again, we illustrated this by thinking of this in terms of area, but even if f of x is negative over this closed interval, this theorem is still true. Now let's look at another example. We're asked to find the value or values of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem for integrals over the indicated interval. So we're given f of x equals 16 divided by x squared over the closed interval from two to four. I provided the graph of f of x here below, and notice how because f of x is non-negative over the interval from two to four, the value of this def integral is going to be equal to the area under the function over this interval. So before we find the values of c, which are x values, guaranteed by the mean value theorem, let's begin by determining the value of this def integral. So we'd have the integral of 16 divided by x squared integrated with respect to x from two to four. Let's rewrite this as 16 times x to the negative two. And now we'll find the antiderivative, so we'll have 16 times x to the power of negative two plus one, that's negative one divided by negative one. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We'd have negative 16 over x. So we'll first evaluate this at four, then at two, and then find the difference. So notice when x is four, we'd have negative 16 divided by four, that's negative four. And then when x is two, we have negative 16 divided by two, that's negative eight. So this simplifies to negative four plus eight, which equals four. So now we know that f of c times the quantity b minus a must equal four. Let's go and solve this on the next slide. Well, we know that b is four and a is two, so we'd have f of c times the quantity four minus two equals four. Of course, four minus two is two, so we have two times f of c equals four, dividing both sides by two. Notice how we have f of c equals two. Now that we know that f of c equals two, this tells us the height of the rectangle that would have the same area as the area under our function would be two. So the rectangle that has the same area as the area under the function would have this height here. But remember the question asks for the values of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem, which would be this x value here that would give us a function value of two. So to determine the value of c, we need to set our function f of x equals 16 divided by x squared equal to two and solve for x. So we'd have the equation two equals 16 divided by x squared. And now to solve for x, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x squared. So this would give us two x squared equals 16, divide both sides by two. We have x squared equals eight. 
and now we'll take the square root of both sides. Algebraic will have two solutions. We have the square root of x squared equals plus or minus the square root of eight. So we have x equals plus or minus the square root of eight, but because eight is equal to four times two, and the square root of four is equal to two, we have x equals plus or minus two square root two. But we're looking for an x value only in the closed interval from two to four, that would give us a function value of two. So the x value we're looking for is c equals two square root two, which is a decimal would be approximately 2.8284. Let's go and look at this graphically. Because the function was non-negative over the given interval, the value of the def integral was this area here under the function above the x-axis over this closed interval. Then when we found f of c equals two, that gave us the height of the rectangle, shown here, which is two, where a rectangle with this height over the given interval would have the same area as the area under the function. And then when we found the value of c, we found the x value here that gave us the function value of two. There is one more thing I do want to mention before we go. F of c from the mean value theorem is also called the average function value over the given interval. So if f of x is integrable on the closed interval from a to b, then the average value of f of x equals f of c from the mean value theorem. So you can say f of c equals one divided by the quantity b minus a times the integral of f of x from A to B. I hope you found this helpful.